But you're probably just drawing, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay to draw. Of course it is. Unless it's conclusions. <laughs> <laughs> drawing conclusions. <laughs> anyway, last time on the Adventures in Ponderland, you all enlisted the help of the Tumblebees to attack the castle and beat up Sir Irony. However, once you got you all finally got him down, he rose back up because well, you don't really know why, but Kinky and I think it was Debbie both thought that the way that he was taken down was just not was just not ironic enough. And that was why he just got right back up. If I remember correctly, Buskin uh, had made it out of the mirror and actually like left the the castle, but I don't remember because we kind of changed his token. Did we? So, yeah, because he was the. Uh, the other one, and now he's your action pose that you drew for him. Mm. I thought I was running away. I remember you running away too. I think I yeah. Did so you make you, it out though? So you were outside the door. I'm pretty sure he was outside the door. I think so too, actually. Yeah. Well, he's gone now, so what do we do? The person that you require for your plan is out the door. Could possibly Actually, still work with him, without him. It could, but it doesn't necessarily have to. But, so what do we do? While you're talking that over, I'll be opening people's sheets say when it says a creature within range and I have to point at them uh, in order to uh, for the somatic gesture to go through uh, and the range is 120 feet do you think message would work through walls even if I can't see him mm. message the cantrip Yes. I'm pretty sure you don't have to see him. Uh, and it can travel around walls. I think that's actually stated in it, but I might be wrong. It says it doesn't have to follow a straight line and can travel around corners or through openings. Yeah. Awesome. And I don't think he's gotten 120 feet yet. So I could just send him a message to return. I'd say so, yeah. And you're familiar enough with the target, and you know it's beyond the door, so... Yeah. Yes. But, first things first, Sir Irony stands back up And he not is not very happy. He gonna bap the bird three times because Burb is is hurting him. <laughs> As he gives some very slapstick comedy esque movements. And just back well, we're, to we're gonna go down if we don't figure it out a, a way so I'm pretty sure the 12 misses I'm, I think kinky has 18 AC yeah I'm pretty sure he has 20 AC 20? 20 how shield got a shield uh, and I heavy armor it is the shield 
Okay. Aye. 23 hits and the 25 oh. hits. Bap, bap. Oh, that bone. Did she have that last one? I don't think she had the one I was using. Okay. Okay. So Kinky takes 15 damage with a bat bat. And that would end Sir Ione's turn. Syntixie. Hang on, I'm just doing a bit of quick math in my head and my brain is not is not mapping. Okay, never mind. I got I got it. Do you remember if Distraction wanted to kill this guy? Witten? Uh I don't remember. I think he did because he was just tired of his bull crap. I think that's so what I'm, too. That's what I'm saying. I asked him. But he, he, he's busy. Or well, he sleeping. might be sleeping now. Because it is like okay. 1 o'clock for him right now. And he was trying to set a, set his sleep schedule straight. Be a little more healthy. Hmm. Okay, so I am going to cast I'm debating because on the one hand subtle spell but on the other hand do I really need to he's not really looking in my direction anyway so yeah I'm just going to cast off message I don't think he really cares about what you're saying anyway, though. And I'm going to send a message to Boston to stash the amulet and return. To you? To the battlefield. Since Boston's thievery skills are going to be needed here. Now, in the absence of any bonus actions that I have available, message. What was it for? Uh, to tell. Uh, but into stash the uh, amulet and return to the field. Oh. Good idea. Yeah, because Buskin's going to be linchpin for this. Yeah, in the absence of anything else, I shall end some Tixie's turn. They Damn will still be concentrating on the haste. Derber. Well, Debbie doesn't know what else to do. I'm pretty sure I'm still in my rage, right? Mm, pretty sure. But it's still check mark, so. Alright, uh, well. Do I still have haste on me? Yes. Okay, so I can attack three times. There hasn't been anything to break that concentration so far. Cool. Then. Of course, I also don't remember the turn order, uh, or the turn count, the round count. Well, Deb is swinging at him because she don't know what else to do. And you have advantage. Cause I'm flanking with a B. So all three of those hit. Yeah.
Well, whatever we gotta do to kill him, he's doing damage. I think you'll like my plan. It's deliciously ironic. Okay, I'm I'm trusting you. Should I stab him in the trachea with the key? <laughs> Actually, I was thinking steal the mirror and then have Buskin while he's holding the mirror behind his back compliment the guy on his fighting and ask him how many tumblebees he thinks he can fight. Oh! How many tumbleweeds? Tumblebees. Tumblebees. Oh. That was like a tumbleweed. Well, maybe we could think of something even more ironic to ask him with him here. I like, I, I like the idea already. I mean, if you can think of something more ironic to ask him, absolutely, I'm down for it. I just thought Tumblebee specifically because it's germane to the topic at hand. True, true. Well, I don't know how humorous that hypothetical is because he's already fighting them, you know? Exactly, that's why I'm thinking... Huh. It's not something outlandish such as the raging five-year-olds or the, you know, caffeine squirt gun squirrels. How about how many thieving adventurers could he take on? Yes. How many raging gabbies? <laughs> that's ironic. <laughs> how many raging gabbies can you take? Instead of the raging five-year-old, it's me! I definitely <laughs> love that. Is that the end of your turn, though, Debbie? Yes. The Tremblebees. They're still swarming all around him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Is that ten? No, no. Yeah, that's ten. So I need ten stings. And they're all at advantage, pretty much. So that one hits. That one hits. And that one hits. But I'm pretty sure that's all. It's nice that we still have this cool battle music to go on. The bees are dancing. The bees are dancing. And I'll need one, two, three constitution saving throws or take more poison. All right, he succeeds. What's the DC on that? Oh, 11. And we're back to Sir Irony. He's gonna bap the bee to the right. One, two, three. As he baps once, he baps twice. And he has to bap a third time in order to take out one of the bees. The bees are more of a problem than he expected. So he's going to slowly take them on. Until they are done. And he stands... In his... Funny looking stance... 
just waiting. <clears throat> Syntixie. Wait, hang on. Shouldn't Kinky's kind of come in there somewhere? You're right. It's because we deleted her. And we deleted... Oh, uh, Buskin because he got a new token. I don't oh! remember what she was at. Uh, but I I'm gonna... Was... I have to top of the turn order with 21. Add turn. I think she was at the top with 21. 21. I'm pretty sure you're right. And Buskin, I don't remember. I think Buskin was last, actually. Yeah, I think he had, like, one. I went last so I could hide behind Debbie. Or, yeah, oh, no, man. yeah, that's right. He had an eight. <clears throat> okay, so, Buskin, you have a turn in which you can uh, r return to the to the battle, if you wish, and do something uh, that we accidentally skipped because of the whole token thing. And then Kinky will have a turn after you. Okay. So, uh... That's why this turn order felt so short. I'm like, wait a minute, something's not right here. <clears throat> So I'm outside, right? Yes. Where's the the mirror? The mirror is inside. Don't forget to stash the amulet first. Stash it? Yeah, Probably we don't somewhere. want him to take it back. Otherwise... Yeah, it's on your person, he'll just take it back when you close the melee distance. Yeah. I hide it. You're not gonna pull a sphincter, are you? No. <laughs> Buskin isn't crude. I'm not gonna put a revolver up your bum. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> God, I remember that story. Um. Do I? Do I have to roll a stealth? For, for where you're hiding it? That or just coming back in to get the mirror. If you don't want uh, anyone to, to see you, well, you will be walking into, like, plain sight the moment that you come into the door. So whether you hide or not, you're, you're going to be seen, you know? Okay. Because there's nothing really to hide behind. Alrighty, um, I'll hide it, but then I'll, uh, come back. Can I have done this? Do I have to walk and hide it and, like, use up some of my distance? No. I mean, you do, uh, you're on a bridge right now, so it's like, I don't know where you would hide it. Can I hide it across the bridge? You could always just hide it on your person, too, because, yeah, if you get into melee, he's oh. going to want to take it from you, but he'll still have to find it if he tries to, you know, Can I put just it in reach into your stuff. What do you mean, put it in your face? Like, take off my mask, put it on my face, and put my mask on. Put it in your face. It's, a little, it my... it's a little big. Is it? So it's I like put a whole. It in my face? It's a whole amulet, you know. <laughs> like, but, but how how big is a whole amulet? Uh, okay, so. Yeah, fucking funny. Make a. Make a lens with your fingers, so you know, pointer finger to thumb, pointer finger to thumb. Okay. 
and kind of squeech it in maybe like to half your pointer finger and that's how big it is what the thumb yeah the thumb oh, that's man. how big the amulet is yeah that's not very big I mean that's just one dimension of it it's also yeah. got like pointy pieces if you want to put it there go ahead but if he punches you in the face I'm gonna say that you take extra piercing damage okay I mean I was gonna suggest six to the amulet it has you know a bitty bit that goes around your neck you could tie that to one of the ropes of the bridge so that the amulet part dangles under the bridge And if what should come to happen and it falls, we can ask the tumblebees to fetch it. Yeah, but that's kind of metagamey. So that's your idea. I mean, you're not wrong. Like, it's it's a good idea, but um, I think Buskin's just gonna put it. Like, so he takes off his mask and he throws it in his face, and then he puts his face back on. <laughs> like he's a treasure chest. <laughs> I'm just saying, if if you get punched in the face, you might take okay. extra piercing. But it's a good hiding place. I mean, it's, it's the only only thing I could really think of. It's, it would especially be good for like notes and stuff, like pieces of paper you don't want found. Just like fold it up and put it underneath your mask. I might do that in future campaigns with a mask. In. <laughs> that sounds cool. Yeah. Okay. So. I'll come back. And I'm like, they need me. And then I'll... Is this five feet in? It's my yeah. Start of my turn? Okay. And technically, you got from here to where you were. So you could... I would say that you'd be able to do it from here, too. You'd get that far in if you wanted. So, like, this far in? Or this far in? Uh, in any direction you want, just you'd be able to get four squares in. Okay. Because you started here whenever you left the door on your... Or, or whenever you left the last time. Hmm, okay. Man, roll 20 looks way different now. I'd say it's dark on my screen. How do I... Don't I, don't I... Know if I put it in dark mode or not. Okay, I don't know what I did. But... Uh, I'm just talking about me... even even this little ruler thing here. This little uh, line and the arrow looks completely different. <laughs> yeah, it does look different. They must have done some updating. They did in fact. So I'm 20 feet in, so I have 30 feet left to go, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, let me do that. Fix it. Yeah, there we go. Fix it on my screen, I mean. So I'm gonna go here. I'm behind this wall, so I'm not visible anymore, right? Uh, yeah. Can I roll stealth? If you want to. Is that an action? It's either an action or a bonus action, because you're a rogue. Gotta use my bonus action. Oh god, that's terrible. <laughs> and I think... Can I use my action to also stealth even harder? Uh, I would say that you used your action to tie it... To, to put the, the thing in your mask. Oh, my gullet? Yeah. Okay. So then I'll end, I'll end my turn. <laughs> but you seem to be hidden. Oh yeah, and Kinky has one. I went to Debbie, though, thinking that... Boom, backwards. There's a backwards now. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm thinking it may be wise to get Kinky out of range. Yeah, 
Okay, so I'm thinking. That made it. that answers my question. Two portals only. Gotcha. But you can replace one of them. I was uh, I was confused about what he was doing with the whole portal thing, honestly. I think he said that he just wanted them to be uh, symmetrical. Uh. That does sound like him. So they had no real purpose other than to just look aesthetically pleasing. Okay. Well, he might have had plans for them. We just don't know what they would be. Yeah, I have no idea. Because he does not see. Or if he did say, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, well. New play. Well, I am going to... So if I use a portal to replace, that means I don't have to spend the bonus action to dismiss it and can just use it to move the portal. Yeah. Pretty much. Alright, in that case. Portal it here. And I don't remember which one was the the first one that he made. I so, made it with this one. Yeah, I was just going to let you choose which one you got rid of. And I'll, I'll delete it. Boom. And now I shall allow myself to fall through this portal and... At the other side. And he is choosing not to uh, use his reaction for a opportunity attack. Now I will use... Too bad we don't have bombs, but I use our bow. And what's the minimum range? Okay, so yeah, longbow is of no use here. In that case, I use the javelin. I mean, you can shoot the longbow. Uh, yeah, but it would have disadvantage inside 150 foot. I thought it was if it uh, exceeded 150 foot. No, its effective range is 150 foot to 600, so it suffers disadvantage under 150 and over 600. Man. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was you, you can fire just fine until 150 feet and then everything after that to 600 was uh was disadvantage i can see how you might think that and also you may possibly be right but if i'm remembering correctly it's actually minimum and maximum effective range And also, I just realized I don't need to actually be uh, using... Because, uh... yeah, he doesn't have an extra attack, does he? Who, Kinky? Or she, rather. Yeah, she doesn't have an extra attack, so I will use Portal Coding. Uh, she does have one extra attack because she's a level 5. She's higher than a level 5 Ranger. Huh. Might just not be in there. <clears throat> Two, 
assume. Yeah, it's not in there for whatever reason. Oh, no, there it is at the bottom. I see it. Okay. So, yes, she does have extra attack. In which case, I will use one of my attacks to attack with portal coating, and then I'll attack regularly with the other one. Yeah, okay. So, your attack roll has disadvantage when your target is beyond your normal range. Oh, but not inside it? Yeah, no. Okay. That is good to know, because I thought that minimum range was, like, a hard thing. So, yeah, portal coding first to... Rib ticklers, which obviously doesn't hit. And then... Well, since that's a melee attack, you, you'd need to be within 15 feet of them to, to make that. Oh, right. 15 foot. And Never you're... mind. Ignore the portal attack. I mean, you can still put a, a portal coating on one of your arrows. Yeah, I just meant ignore that portal attack. Arrow is, is where I'm going with it. And that still doesn't hit. So a regular shot arrow. Oh, and that one does hit. All right. All right, anything else? Uh, having used both action and bonus action, no, that'll end Cynthia's turn. Then it is finally actually your turn, Syntixie. <laughs> now, Syntixie. Is this time getting past subtle spell? Just to make extra certain. Send a message again. This time instructing Faskin to pilfer the mirror and use it against uh Sir Irony. Well, the mirror is still where it was. Uh in the middle of like right beside Debbie. It is a, uh, like a full-length mirror that people could actually, like, come in and out of. But it, it is, it does seem to be kind of unprotected at the moment. Well, it's worth a shot. So it would be easier to get than, than you'd having to actually take it from him is basically where I was going with that. Although perhaps a little difficult to walk out with, unless one were to put it down their pants. <laughs> but yeah, that'll end Syntaxi's turn since I don't have uh, any spells that can be cast as bonus actions. Alright, Debbie! Debbie turn! Well, Debbie gonna keep doing what Debbie do. Debbie gonna swing. Swing, swing, swing. All right, all three of those hit. Whoa. 
They've been doing damage, yeah. I'm also remembering to add the extra one to your rage damage. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I don't know if you want to inflict any bleeding wounds, but... That's, that would be a good idea. That's also yeah. been an option this whole time. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Thanks for reminding me. As you're typically uh, silvery kind of gray metallic axe has turned to black while you are raging. Cool. As it is coated in sharp obsidian. Anything else? No. That'll do. Alright, Buskin, once again. It's your turn. It's the Buskin's turn. Me turn. Me. <laughs> So I'll go there and grab it. What do I use to grab it? You could use your hands. I don't have to action it. Okay, I guess I'll just grab it. Oh, that's not the mirror. That's no. Yeah, the the mirror is uh like right beside Debbie. Is oh, it, is it this red box? Oh no, that it's here. I'll give you a box. That was the 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 box for the the call box. I've moved it to where it actually is. Yeah, sorry, I didn't even remember that was there. Oh, so I I didn't even want to go there then, because I thought this was the mirror over here. Sorry. <laughs> can I take that back? Yeah, you can take your other one back too if you want. <laughs> How do I undo? Uh, you can't really. You just have to move it back to where you were. Which it's I like think right was, I think that was where you were. And then I went 5, 10, 15. Yeah, that's my fault for not actually putting a little marker to tell you where it was. 20, 25. I was right here, right, initially? Yeah. I'm just going to start where I was. I could have grabbed it immediately. I'll start. I'll see. Hey, and you're hiding behind me. Also, one wonders if you need to attune to the mirror first. Oh, shoot. Please, no. Why'd you have to say that? Because I was thinking it's a distinct possibility that we might be thinking the same thing. Oh, no. Hence it being unguarded. Well, guess what? What? I al almost always, if you bring something up, will probably allow you to do something about it in some way. Well, I mean, yeah, because you know, to attune to an object, you need to be physically touching it. He is not. If Buskin touches it, he can attune to the mirror. It is it an additional like an complication, but not insurmountable. It does okay. usually take an hour, yes. Ah, of kind of... Hours. So I'll grab it, right? Mm-hmm. Do I, do I have to, like... Do I have to attend to it? Uh, you don't actually know exactly how it works at the moment. You just know that whenever a humorous hypothetical is uttered, the and the mirror appears uh it seems to do something based on the humorous hypothetical and the answer 
Okay, so I'll grab it. Do I have to, like, show him the mirror? Don't have to, no. He hasn't done that to you guys. He has asked it and then teleported yeah, that... it in front of you. Yeah, I've, I've been, uh... I've been wondering about that, because, uh... I, I don't remember being close to the mirror when he asked me about the squirrels. The question is, perhaps an arcana might be a good idea to discern whether we need to tune the mirror or not. Because we don't want to blow our plan ahead of time. I, is that a... Is the grab an action? Like, me grabbing the item? No. You haven't done an object interaction that's like you know like drawing your weapon or anything so you almost you, you always trash. get one free of those all right so i'm gonna arcana it you don't really know you you don't really know much about magic of any kind it seems <laughs> damn I'm just gonna say at least not this magic <laughs> sir irony yes how many raging debbies could you fight oh yeah, I could like... probably fight at least five <laughs> <laughs> Five raging bees. <laughs> Does that do anything? Uh, it doesn't I, seem I shake, to at the moment. I shake the mirror and I'm like, come on. <laughs> oh no. Come on, please. However, we do have a sorcerer. Would you like to try to do an arcana of some sort? As a matter of fact, that's exactly what I was going to do. On my turn. Can you do Unless it Unless you allow me to do it sooner. I would allow you to do it sooner if you'd like. Ooh, then I will run an Arcana. Alright, you... Okay. You feel that it can It does require an attunement, but should you pour enough magic into the mirror you could possibly get it to activate outside of a tune. Ooh. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do, Buskin? Um. So how do I we pour, pour magic I, into it? I pour my hopes and wishes, my magical <laughs> dreams into the, into the mirror. <laughs> Pour all your hopes and dreams into I'm the hugging mirror. it. I'm like, please, please, please. <laughs> all right. Well, this one will actually cost your action. But this is another Arcana check. The DC is 20 to make it activate. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Not 20. No! <laughs> you got a negative one on it. It's a little easier for other characters, but can be. Look at your card, it has a negative one. Wait, should we, should, should it I is like definitely easy. Throw it to Sintixi? If you want to. <laughs> that would be a bonus action? Uh, yeah. Bonus action to throw it, sure. Because it's a. Yeah, no. an use an, use an object. Oh, God, don't break it! Or an acrobatics. It'd be yeah, athletics. Like... Huh? Don't, It'd be don't athletics. Break. God damn it. Don't break it. Don't break it. Send Dixie catch. Please don't fucking throw it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear God. Mm. Oh, my God. Hmm. Oh, God. Let's see oh, here. God. I don't think that that nine is really going to do it. Oh, boy. Why not? Uh, <laughs> gonna throw it 35 feet of full length mirror. <laughs> ah! Is it like a big ass mirror too? It's as yeah! tall as you are. It's a standing mirror. mirror. 
Okay, this I. This is why I, I said no. I, I don't. I don't think I would have done that. <laughs> he didn't know what the point is. Can I do this? Can I take it back? Yeah, you can take it back. <laughs> Thank okay, God! Yeah. This is why I was like no. So I. I, I can uh, run. A, I can run with it, right? Yes. Yeah. Where's Syntixie? Right here? Yep, that's yeah. Syntixie. The only one without a token. 20, 20, yeah, because I couldn't find a rainbow colored Ganassi. <laughs> oh, that sounds cool. Alright, touch it. <laughs> you get a carry that or that or can I use it. my, my action to make him touch it? <laughs> Instead of throwing it. Ah, like, you brought it over there it, to him. He's fine. You set it down in front of him. It's like, there you go. You use it. <laughs> yeah. Worth noting, my plan was actually to summon a prism at the location and channel my energy through that. But this works, too. This that works. That would've worked. Alright. But is that the end that of your worked. turn, Buskin? Yes. Kinky. <laughs> Alright, I'm Kenki. No! And he is gonna use his reaction, by the way. In case you're planning to shoot an arrow. I just need to get you before you actually roll it. Yes. Now, longbow portal coding. I was gonna yeah, do it on a debut turn, but I didn't. I forgot. I just realized there's no point in doing portal coding when I'm attacking with a ranged weapon. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't have any cover at the moment. Well, and also, I didn't get the extra damage until my next level. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just gonna fire with the bow. Ooh, but first, before Are you guys that, only level six? Yes, we're only level six. Oh, dang. I, I thought you were higher level than that. I know, right? So, first order of business, Hunter's Mark. Okay, bonus action to Hunter's Mark. Which, it's odd that he doesn't have a, an entry for Hunter's Mark's extra damage. Yeah, he has it to where it just rolls whenever you actually click Hunter's Mark. Oh. So on a hit, you will do an extra five for this, for the first hit. So I will now. Longbow. That's a hit. That is not. And that will end Kenki's turn. I still need the damage for the first attack, though. Oh, right, yes. Yeah. Oh, ignore that, please. Okay, 11. Wait, why is there plus? Because you gotta... If you had advantage, you had to crit. Oh, yes. So 11 plus your original roll of 5 is 16. Yeah, I forgot to uncheck it when I was rolling the damage because I created an entry for it so that I don't have to keep clicking. Alright. Kinky ends her turn. Living for the tumblebees. That. Oh, crap. Right. I'm, I'm dumb. I said that I was going to use my reaction 
and then I immediately forgot. Uh, so it would be on the first one that did hit. So using ironic burst, which I said, would you have to take in response to being targeted by a melee attack? And I said, before you even targeted, I said, if you were targeting him, he was going to use it. Wait, but that's by a melee attack. By a melee attack? Oh, it is by a melee attack. Holy crap. Yeah. So, in other words, you didn't forget anything. Oh, cool. I didn't. I was wondering why I didn't do that. But... <laughs> Never mind. But that is... Uh, technically, this one is over here now. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bees. Miss. Hits cause advantage. Hits cause advantage. Hit. Hit. Miss. Hit. Man, if only he was an edgelord rogue. Nobody would be able to hit him. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back. I was using the wrist. I think, uh, oh yeah. I don't even have to roll his constitution saves because he just automatically passes them. I, re I remember that from last time. Yeah, because it's literally impossible for him to fail. Uh, even if he were to roll a nat 1, the total would be 12. Uh, so, on Sir Ioni's turn, once again, He's gonna bap, bap, bap. The B to the to the uh, bottom here. Oh my God, those are terrible rolls. <laughs> Miss, hit, hit. And he's able to take out one more B. Syntixi! He is yes, way too Syntixi. preoccupied with the bees. Is going to channel all of their power as much as they can muster into the mirror. And hang on, I've got something else. I've got something for this. I'm going to spend a sorcery point to re-roll that, because I am not satisfied with it. Alright. Oh wow, that's an even worse roll. Well, I guess we'll have to hold out for another turn. Can I use a bonus action to throw something? Mm, not Wait, no, bad usually. idea. Damage in range. Ah, so it would have taken an action anyway. Which is fine, because my idea was stupid. I was going to throw the rubber chicken. The rubber chicken. You'd be yeah, able but... to do that if you had rogue levels. And, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, my main issue is that Debbie would be in the splash zone. <laughs> 
And since it's not a spell, I can't use a uh, careful spell to exclude her from the blast radius. What happened to using the mirror? Oh, no, I was going to throw it in as a distraction. But yeah, uh, that'll end St. Tixie's turn. Dear Bear. Dear Bear, well, just keep a swing and, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Fuck do you know about Debbie? Swing, a swing, a swing. Hit, hit, miss. Hit, hit, miss. And the bleeding wounds. The bleeding wounds, yes. So how many does he actually have now? Uh, how many am I? Oh, oh, am I only allowed to do one? One turn? per turn. Yeah, so that's at least two. Okay, I forgot to do it on his other one. And, uh, do I need to roll? I believe I for like, 1d4 for that or something? Uh, yeah, that would be how much damage he takes. But, so, you actually took him down. I, I did it again. And Debbie how, much, just like, how much does he resurrect with every time? He gets a full heal. Uh oh. Th it's not really helping him out that much, though. You know? So... <laughs> I mean, you guys could take him down like three or four times over <laughs> before he is, he can succeed. But it gets easier for him to succeed every single time he resurrects, though, because he's going to slowly take more and more people out. Well, while he's dead, Debbie's just like, What the hell do we do? I don't know what the heck to do! Other than keep swinging! Speaking of, I should check if there's any healing pots we have. Because I should probably put those on Debbie. Anyway, is that the oh, end of your turn, Debbie? Yes. Alright, Buskin, it's your turn again. Um, I'm not really much help. Uh, I guess touch the mirror and Arcana it to activate it, right? If you'd like to try that, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> you feel like it's trying to work. I believe. <laughs> Can I use a bonus action too, or no? Just the action. Uh, just an action. If you were a thief, then you'd be able to, you know, use your bonus action to use an object. But yeah. Come to think of it, whatever happened to the rogues' use magical item ability? Wasn't that also that. a a thief thing? No, it used to be a standard thing for rogues. Uh, one of the skills they had was use magical item that allowed them to basically fool a magical item into thinking that they're a mage. I have no clue. I would assume that it probably disappeared when they made the transition from 4th edition to 5th. I think that they did just make that into like a thief uh, rogue thing, though. Ah. Use magic device, 13th level, thief. Huh. So it was retained in some shape, but now only the thief subclass gets it. It's kind of weird that only thief get it. Like, what What makes that really thiefy? I mean, I guess it would be useful for stealing magic items, but I don't know what that, why that would separate the thief from the rogue in that regard. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, is that the end of your turn, Busk? Yeah. K. 
kinky once more. Once more with the bow. Hunter's mark is still active, right? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Man, this is dark. Let's just shoot his oh, corpse. <laughs> Double uh, tap. I was actually about to ask, do you think it'd be possible to pin him to the ground, making him making it more difficult for him to get up? I would say yeah, if you were to have hit. Yes, but neither of those hit, especially since he's laying prone, so these would be a disadvantage. So that'll end Kenki's turn. I should have used a prepared action. The bees just kind of, they're just chilling. Because whenever he's not up. Yeah. So what are they going to do? And then... You see as he rises to his feet, using half of his movement speed. And then he backhands a bee! Well, nice. Uh, the second one does not hit because it is a match. And he backhands this one. Oh, which actually already has some damage on it, which kills it. And then he changes his target to this one. Which also apparently has some damage on it. I need to check these because he would know which ones he's already hit. That ends his turn. And then he... makes that little pose of his, which I forgot to use the first time he did it. Syntixi, it's your turn again, though. Now, Syntixi will... again, attempt to channel their power into the mirror. It seems to be getting a little bit easier every single time you do it. Okay, and by that I mean you got a plus one to that try. And then the next time you try it, you'll get a plus two. Well, this try is not over yet because I'm going to be reach into my wellspring of magic and see if I can pull victory from the jaws of defeat here. Okay, add that plus two. And the next time and you again, do it, we'll have a plus three. Yes, that lands in Tixie's turn. Odd how every time I do that, I roll lower than the first roll. Debbie. Yes? It's your turn again. It's my turn again. Well, oh yeah, also on his turn he had two wounds, so I'll need you to roll the damage for those. Da, 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 da. He can't really get rid of them at the moment. <laughs> Oop. Uh, let's see. Slash roll. Let's go 2d4. Okay, so there's the damage for that, and we're just going to keep swinging and swinging. Man, 
I should really get rid of that bee that's helping you flank. Yeah, you should, shouldn't you? <laughs> I should. First one hits, second one doesn't, for the uh, third one hits. But no, you really shouldn't. I mean, even if he does, you can just circle around and flank with another bee. It's true! Or reckless attack. That also works, but as long as you don't leave five foot, he can't get a reaction against you. And I'm gonna put another bleed on him, so that's three now. I mean, he does get to punch at you because he did put himself in the, his pose for one of those attacks, but... Ah, crap! He hits! Six bludgeoning, ow! Three bludgeoning. Oh, yeah, yeah that's I should right. say six bludgeoning, half if you're raging. <laughs> one, two, three. Which, that's you may five. have been raging for more than ten turns or whatever it is that's... I How think... many turns have we had? I don't... We've had a lot. It says counts. Wait. Oh, that's just how many people. I thought it said six turns. I'm like, no, wait, we've had more than six turns. Would we call this a tenth turn, you'd say? Yeah, we could call this a tenth turn. But yeah, this okay. is Debbie's second rage. Yeah. Could say that I got in. I'm, I'm, I'm in my second rage now. Are you, are you adding another wound? Yeah. Wound. A wound. I'm adding his wound. My wound. Alright, is that the end of your turn? See! Si. Buskin, one more time. Every Just time you do it, it seems to get a little bit easier. I believe... I think this is your second time doing it, so you've got a plus... Ah! Two? Wow. Wow. Maybe Syntixie should help you. Or he could use the help action on Syntixie, giving advantage. That would also work. I didn't... I keep... I forget about... things. Uh, I think I'm going to end my turn. Unless I can still do the help action. I'd say you can. Yeah, I want to help my friend. Alright. Syntixie, you are being helped by Buskin. But Kinky's turn. Yeah. And he is going to Wait, hang on, I can cast Cure Wound. Cure Wounds is touch range. Yeah. But I have portal coding. Hmm. Never really thought about that. It's not I a mean, melee attack roll, so... <laughs> I mean, it's a melee spell. I mean, you would be able to put a portal right next to somebody and then reach through it to do that. But yeah. for portal coding, I would say it doesn't interact. I mean, that makes sense, because it does say ranged attack roll. Or melee attacks have a 15-foot range. So you could do it with a touch spell that is like a dan an, an attack roll, like uh, Inflict Wounds. Yeah, that's actually exactly what I was thinking. Inflict Wounds tracks because it's actually an attack. But yeah, with Cure Wounds, I am going to have, as a bonus action, Huh, they won't let me grab that which I drew. That's fine, I know exactly what to do. There. All right. And I will disappear as soon as I figure out how to use the eraser tool. I can erase it for you if you want. Oh, yes please. 
There you go. And then Kenji will... As soon as I double check how many spell slots I've got. Oh, okay, awesome. Good, good. Cast Cure Wounds. How badly hurt is Gabby? Couldn't tell you. Well, I'll start at first level, and if we need to go higher, I will. Hey, Debbie. Hmm? How hurt are you? Mm, not hurt very. 44 out of 56. You didn't hear him asking? Asking what? Okay, so that's a decent... Oh my god. Nothing. No rain. Sorry. <laughs> no biggie. But the point is, it's not urgent enough for me to use my second level spell slot, so I'll cast it first level. Nice. And Debbie gets 10 more hit points. Woo! I'm almost back to full. Yeah, that's why I didn't use the second level slot, because I thought if I get a high roll on that, that's going to be wasted healing. Yeah, that's a waste of heal. That's just perfect, dude. Thanks. And Woo. that will end Kenki's turn. <laughs> All right, the tumblebees. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and move that one. And that one. And that one. Even though they're, you know, flying above him. Just to surround him nice and... Nice and good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Miss, miss. Miss. Hit. Miss. Hit. Miss. They're becoming less effective. What are the bees? Yes. Alright. And as they fly past him, exchanging places with each other like bullets... Once again, it is Sir Irony's turn. And he's gonna squash some bees. The one to his you left. And the one down left. Down left. Down left. Okay, first off. Oop. One, and he hit, so he's going to take this other one out, because it only had one HP. No. And he's got one more attack. Not the beast. Not the beast. And he's going to go to the top left. Not the one there! Dealing eight. Like you saw a bitch, that's the one I'm flanking with. Syntixie! I think you have a plus four now and you have advantage. Yes. Maybe, Tixie. maybe, maybe it's like with our powers option. combined. Help option. Oh, come, come on, on. Option, help. I will use magical guidance once more. Oh crap. My screen went white. How many fuck? more sorcery points do you have? Jeez. Two. <laughs> I get one per level. Go for it. Woohoo, this time I rolled high. Yo! With advantage and a plus five because of that being you next time. Or, well, I guess that's technically still the same one, so plus four still. But still, a plus four is pretty good. And as you pour your magic into it, the mirror begins to glow. 
And Sir Irony is like, ha. <laughs> and four. What did he say? Five raging Debbies? Four or five raging Debbies? He said five. He said five raging Debbies. Will. Boy, is his face red. Five raging Debbies. <laughs> come out. <laughs> <laughs> of the mirror and he's and like, like oh my god I have a sex doublet he's like not fair there's already one here <laughs> <laughs> and, and then one of them poofs out because he's right there is already one here <laughs> <laughs> But does that mean that our Debbie can now kill him because she is one of the five Debbies? <laughs> well, the ironic part is that you use the mirror on him, which is one of his part. So, yes, technically. Because she now counts as one of the five. And they'll all go on her turn. Not cool using another man's mirror on him! I find this mirror to be exceedingly cool, says Syntexy, rubbing their face against it. And Deb all the and Debbies. I'm, harangue. I'm like, yeah, we believed. All the Debbies will speak as one and will be like, you could always just leave and let the beast have the place. Why would I allow the bad guys to win without a fight? Your funeral. But yeah, that lands in Tixie's turn. Debbie's. It's your turn. Okay, so. Debbie's. <laughs> so let's see if Debbie is. A... If there's five raging Debbies here, and she is get three hits per turn. Wait, are all the other Debbies counting as hasting? They're not hasted. Okay, so each one gets two, and I get three. They're just raged. So, okay, so that's eight plus three. So that's 11 hits. So, one, two, three... Four. Wait. Hold on. I gotta move two of them up to him. How big are the bees? Uh, they're medium sized. But they're flying above him and stuff. Ah, so I can get in on there. Technically. You just gotta remember that there are two bees there. Yeah. So, yep. That's gonna be 11. So, okay, that was four so far. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And wow. all of since all of them are raging, they all have the obsidian coating on their on their sword uh, swords and on their axes. Yep. <laughs> once so once for each of them. Yep. So five more bleeds. So that's eight in total. Okay, so who is the first one? Just one of the other ones? Uh, the first one is me. Okay, first one's you, the second one hits, and the third one hits. Okay, so second one and third one. And that is one uh, bleed. Minus three, minus six, minus three, minus 14. Okay. First three are done. Uh, first one hits, second one doesn't, of the second Debbie. Okay. Kind of wish we would have did this not one all at, at once. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's 
It's a little easier whenever I'm doing it for the bees, but because they only I have one it. attack each. Okay, so let's see. And that's another wound. Okay, so the 10 and the 19. Uh, the 25 and the 19. Oh, yeah, you're right. So those hit. And then the 26 and the 26, I'm sure hit, right? Yep. I'm sure that natural 20 also hits. Yep. What about 18? Yep. Okay. Then that's all. Wow, I did a lot of this. Man, you did so much damage all in one turn. And I that did. is another five <laughs> wounds. Plus the other two or three? Three. Plus the other three. So he's got eight wounds now. Dude's gonna be one giant wound by the end of this. Uh, Buskin, yeah. it's your turn now. Just got a bunch of rabbit girls all around him, swinging their axes at him. What can I really do in this situation? I know what the most ironic thing would be, but I don't know if it would work. Feel free to suggest it. Well, the most ironic thing would be for him to just bleed to death now. <laughs> you know? I, I could do that. <laughs> How long would that take? <laughs> well, you you put him into range where this 8d4 that he'll take at the start of his turn could possibly do it. And I actually <laughs> I actually don't remember if on his last turn if we did his bleed damage. I don't think we did. So I I've only done it once so far. I'm yeah. Turn to the air. So he would have had a uh, 3d4, another 3d4 wow. of damage from bleeding. Bro. Three, two, four. Six. Alright. So, yeah. So, what are you uh, going to do, Tim? Boskin, do you have anything you wish to do? You could just pull out some popcorn and watch. I'm okay, so I'm just so happy that the plan worked, and I'm like praising Syntax Seed. I'm gonna end my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I help him, <laughs> I give him the help action. All right, Kinky. Kinky is going to. I really thought he'd have performance, but I guess not. She, rather, is gonna hackle him. <laughs> I can't think of how she's going to do that, but she will. Badly, apparently. She does it in her native tongue. Nobody understands it. <laughs> she just goes, Ah! Ah! <laughs> Big insulting bird calls. <laughs> and that'll end her turn. The tumblebees, noticing the swarm of Debbies, just kind of wants to back up now. Get out of their way since it's just a flailing mass of blending axes. <laughs> Uh, 
And at the top, at the beginning of Sir Irony's turn, he takes some bleeding damage from the wounds. How many? Uh, 8d4. 8d4. <laughs> hey, guess what? Is he dead? He has 17 hit be? points. <laughs> oh, <he's actually> nice. <laughs> the most ironic. <laughs> as he... Could, would that would that work anyway? It does. Like, is, is that a is that a way to? It works. Because we have multiple uh, ironies, right? Yeah, there's multiple <laughs> ironic ways for him to t get taken out now. So as he begins to slow down. He doesn't just fall over so much as he kind of slumps to his knees and just slowly stops moving as the blood begins to leave his body pooling on the floor. And then the four extra Debbies disappear oh but before they do they're just like ah, guess we were too much woman for him poof, poof, poof. and then you hear something everybody else hears something which is wait no i'm the real one wait no i'm the real one <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh! Did you just seriously delete the real me? <laughs> you are all the real you. Ah! <laughs> At least I, I mean, it's so. all the same, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he does not seem to be getting back up this time. We did it. Wait. I just look up at the bees and I'm like, I guess this is your home now. Sorry. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it too. I don't know if it'll if it'll work through the Oh, just play it on your phone. We know you're gonna do it. Uh, actually I think I have one for this. Yeah, it cut out. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't work on a on my computer like it does with. Darn. <laughs> that works. <laughs> I knew I had one for it. Like the sound bite. Yep. <laughs> All right. Nice. Good work, everybody. So the bees now have a new hive. Just like you said, you uh, murdered someone who you don't really know what their their whole grand plan was. Yeah, uh, we really did just commit murder, didn't we? Yes, we did. We committed a home invasion and a homicide. Don't even really know if it was a an evil plot or anything. It was probably a good thing. Well, it was evil in the fact that he annoyed me. Uh, do you want to search his body? Me. See, you've been evil every single campaign or game we've played. You killed that poor innocent guard <laughs> that's, like, that's, with your whip and cut him in half. I, how am I evil as Prisma? <laughs> I... I, no, I'm I, talking about Mistalia. You, you killed said every that campaign, guy. I want, to, I, I want you to... Make proof of that, okay? What about Prisma? Prisma poisoned a dude. What? No. That was a prank. That doesn't count. Oh, yeah? I mean, Wait, clearly, you were just trying to shove that guard, but you murdered him. <laughs> eh? What do you want from me? We're talking about Debbie right now. Yeah, we're talking about Debbie. Well, specifically, Debbie murdered him. <laughs> Debbies. 
Debbie's murdered him? Debbie and the Debbies. Debbie did it because she was told to. By who? Wow, that is not a good excuse, Nazi. <laughs> I was just following orders. I was just following orders. Uh, anyway, do you want to search his body or anything before you leave? Sure. I do. I would... Yeah, I I'm curious since you kept pulling out random shit. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what did he pull out besides the amulet when he, he was pickpocketing him? He pulled a shock buzzer out, which allows him to cast Shocking Grasp. I thought I have that. Or does he have multiple? No, that's what you did. That's uh, what you grabbed. That's what you grabbed. Oh. And the other thing was the amulet, because he got a nat 20. Which was awesome. And then also his chest. But you don't have to actually with? roll anything to find what he's got now. We can now safely retrieve the amulet. From Buskin's mask? Yeah, I was going to say, Buskin has the amulet. Ah, yeah, you guys ah. don't know where I put it, though. We literally could have gotten away scot-free, but we we went back and murdered this dude anyway. It's true, but we did make a promise to the bees that they could have his house. Yep. And thus ends the war between him and the bees. Which... Funny thing is, he would have won that war if, we if it weren't for you. For the bees. <laughs> Aren't they grateful at least? So they're dancing. In essence, he should have just taken care of the bees for himself. Yeah, instead of you know providing a job for exterminators to do it. Barney. A job which we then stole, impersonating those exterminators, broke into his house and murdered him. <laughs> Did we actually? <laughs> it gets worse every time you you actually think about it a little bit more. <laughs> is, is that what he did? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Yes, essentially, we came here just to simply take the amulet. He asked, he said he would give us the amulet if we took care of the bees. We essentially turned around and told the bees, okay, you can move into his house instead of just moving away. He never said we he would give you the amulet for taking care of the bees, and he actually already paid you for the job you did. Oh, that's true. You, the he job did. you didn't do. We didn't do it. <laughs> no, we sided with the bees. Oh, wow. It really does just get worse the, the more you dig into it. I guess it just goes to show never trust an adventurer. We, especially <laughs> murder hobos like us. I saw something like this where it's like a barbarian waiting for the shopkeep to stop talking and he's like about to kill him just because he's talking. It's like, I want to bonk. <laughs> I guess, yes, that also does make Syntexia a murder hobo in addition to also being a regular hobo. We're murder hobos. <laughs> in this uh, one, at Bus least. Buskin kind of, uh, <laughs> he puts on a sad mask. He's like, I don't know what I, what I was doing. But anyway, yes, as you as Can you I search him, you commit murder. You find a number of prank items, such as snapping gum, like the the electric one. No, no, just it's got a little spring and a little. The one that, I was about to say the one that pinches you. Little snap. Uh, uh, some fake vomit, you know, stuff of that. That kind of nature but you also find a letter not mailed and ready to be delivered to princess ponderella a letter yeah oh no uh let's read it now you're committing mail Fraud. Mail fraud. That is fraud. <laughs> He's dead. It doesn't matter now. Is that what it is? That what it is? <laughs> Opening I mean, someone else's mail. To open someone else's mail. Yeah, but this is Punderland. Hey, Unless it's a federal it offense life. here too. Uh, well, as you read the letter, 
states something to the fact of my dearest Ponderella I know that you only love the funniest of men and I vow to you that I shall become the funniest of men I thank you for allowing me to use the amulet of amusement I shall be victorious and we shall be wed Yours truly, Sir Irony. Good job, guys. Uh, <laughs> well, at least I know the story I'm going to tell. Alas, the amulet's power was insufficient, and he lost the beast horses. And we you know were what we're working with bees, so it's not technically quiet. We'll just tell. We'll just tell Ponderella it was the bees. He bled to death because they stung him to death. And I wiped the blood off my axe. I was just going to say that the Keith Daly in battle with the Beast Forces. He died nobly, Sir Irony did. He died, he died the way ironically. He ironically. <laughs> just as he wanted to, nobly and ironically. Did he actually want to die ironically? Since that was the only way to kill him, probably not. <laughs> but anyway, you can now make your trek back to the castle. Does that mean we have to go all the way through everything we went through, including the cave with the with the a depression or whatever. Well, of dark jokes. Are you yeah. leaving? Are dark you leaving his castle? A cave of dark humor. Yeah. I think we should bring his body with us. Shit! What? I what? Mean... Actually, no. Because if they, if what? the princess sees the axe marks in him, she's gonna know. <laughs> they're not axe marks. They're bee stings. What are you talking about? Yeah, I was thinking... Yes, X, st B slash stings. <laughs> very wide very stingers. Least, <laughs> at the very least, we could do him the good grace of tipping him into the chasm. Into the sarcasm. Yep. And also, it will have the added benefit of making a fob investigation incredibly difficult. Jesus Christ, you're dark. <laughs> <laughs> they can't find saying, the body. Yeah, it's gonna be real hard to prove we did him in if it can't find the body. <laughs> I was about to say, now who's the real fucking murder hobo here? You. <laughs> I prefer the term murder enthusiast. <laughs> but yes, in Tixie at least, we'll drag the body. Alright. Well, as you leave, for absolutely no reason at all, you see giant eagles waiting to fly you over Mount Doom. <laughs> Perfect. What? <laughs> giant eagles, cool! Just because. Yeah. Because yeah. no, you don't have to go through all of it to get back. <laughs> Woohoo! Because this what? game is supposed to be stupid and absurd. <laughs> I just found a handier way to get rid of the body. <laughs> just drop it in the middle of the sky. <laughs> I was gonna say feed it to the eagles. No oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he will be shit at that point. Hey, waste not, want not. <laughs> I love this group. <laughs> We're crazy. <laughs> yes, we are. We are mildly insane. As these okay. characters. <laughs> I think Buskin is the the most sane sane one, yeah. And he only has certain emotions based on the mask that he has <laughs> equipped. <laughs> the most well-adjusted one can only feel a single emotion at a time. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing so much. Yeah, yeah. The wow. eagles and a random bearded wizard. It's like, 
It's you time. Got the pendant. <laughs> Like, um, yeah, cool, thanks for the lift. Where did you come from? His hat says Randolph on it. Randolph. <laughs> That's <terrible>. Randolph. <laughs> wow. And he just says, it's been a long journey uh, the, th that we've taken, hasn't it? Eagles. Oh, God. One might even say an unexpected journey. I got it now! <laughs> the eagles are gonna come and save him. The eagles are gonna come in and save him. Where are the eagles? They're coming, I promise. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's hop on and go! So are we gonna just... Uh, so are we feeding him the, the, the eagles? He's no, already eaten. Randolph's staying there. Oh, <laughs> he is already eaten. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go! It was a sad thing that we had to kill Irony, but he just wouldn't let our bees move into his castle. Truly a shame. <laughs> How does he know who the bees are? <laughs> He's been with you the whole time. <laughs> He's this been like your the... mentor the whole time. <laughs> this is like that, that the full brain arc in, uh, in Bleach. <laughs> where the the guy like inserts himself in everyone's memories and they're all like yeah almost it, dying it was him <laughs> yeah <laughs> i still don't know how that ended up no you guys don't know what he's talking about or who he is but he he's just acting like he's been there the whole time <laughs> Ponderella? He opens up a book that you can see says script, flips through the pages and says, Yes, but we shall get there much faster this time. This time? Yeah, because he's been there with you the whole time. But he this hasn't. Ridiculous. <laughs> <sighs> ridiculous. This is a ridiculous. Okay, uh... Rabbits don't do well with eagles. One of them is looking at you like it wants a little bit extra after eating Sir Irony. Don't even think about it. I hold up my axe protectively. <laughs> but yeah, you, you can mount up and head on out as you fly. Thanks. Over the landscapes that you've previously gone through. I'm sorely tempted to mount up behind the wizard and then shove him off in midair. You know what they say about secrets. Three can keep a secret if two are dead. But I will not do that. I mean, we already killed one old man. Might as well kill another, right? I mean... I feel like he'd probably survive it and just come back mildly annoyed. As Gandalf, as Randolph the White. <laughs> that was literally exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Run, you fools. Randolph, no! But yeah, you fly your way over the the cavern of dark comedy over the yo mama forest and back to castle ponderella castle ponderella where you find princess ponderella sitting on a whoopee cushion and just letting it fart and then reinflating it and then just sitting back down on it over and over again. And she's like, Oh, hey! Do you have that amulet? We sure do! Give it to her, Buskin. Freaking sweet! I take it out of my face. Ew! 
Thank yeah. you, adventurers. <laughs> All right, so she kind of sniffs it. Mmm, cheesy. Yeah. Cheesy. <laughs> you need to wash behind that thing. It's like it's like a toe cheese smell. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> don't don't do it. Not my gag reflex, please. Your reward? You want to? You know? You you know what your reward is? What was it again? You get to go home. Oh yeah. We get to go home! The whole reason we did this was so we could send Kenki and, and Debbie home. Because I was helping you guys. No one knows where they are from. We get to finally go home! I get to finally see my brother. <laughs> I get to see my candy shop again. I get to see my How long has it been? It's been like two days. <laughs> Just feels like much longer. Feels like it's been two months. Yeah, as if multiple weeks have passed between a few hours. <laughs> but anyway, she holds up the amulet and it's like, mm, "Thank you. I'll just put this back on its pedestal, and it'll be able to transfer and regulate humor through all the realms again." Did Irony uh, give you a hard time? He can be a little stubborn sometimes. Oh, we, uh... We just... We found him being stung by countless bees. It was a tragic event. Wait, what? Is... Is he alright? Alas, uh, Sir Irony perished at the hands of the B-Forces. <laughs> the B-Forces. <laughs> That's so stupid. No! My darling Irony. He just wasn't made of irony. <laughs> he, didn't he didn't have an iron knee. Oh! <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop anyway, I shall mourn on my own, my love, my dear. But you, you all don't care about that. You want to go home, so boop. And then a a hole in space opens up. And as in order to keep it open, she just continuously points at it and goes boop 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 and then she's just waiting for the ones who need to need to leave to go through the portal well Debbie's gonna turn to her companions and be like well this was fun been nice knowing y'all uh yeah pleasure Kenki will give a cheeky wave and step through as well, and Syntixi will follow afterwards, backwards, making finger guns back at the princess. That wave, wave everyone hop. goodbye. I'm gonna bunny hop through. Thanks for the Memories. experience. <laughs> Thanks for the laughs! They were a blast! I kind of regret saying yes to you. <laughs> <laughs> Your, uh, what is it, request? What? Goodbye, see you later. I wouldn't want to keep you here. I'm like scooting them along. <laughs> <laughs> and once they go through, the portal closes. And once the portal's closed, the princess looks at you, Buskin, and says, Wow, what idiots, am I right? One of them was devious. 
<laughs> and then the credits roll. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the credits is just Buskin walking home down the street. With some with some like sad music. And he's got a hobo. A hobo stick. Yeah. To the other characters as they go back to their worlds. Theoretically. And, and even though it's within walking distance, Buskin is like holding out his his thumb. Like he's it's like the incredible Hulk ending. <laughs> <laughs> Hitchhiking. He's like, I was going to say Luke for right now. <laughs> Just casually killing people. Every candy maker's dream. Look at Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah, he was a child murderer. Uh, I love that. And possibly theory. molester. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know about that one. Okay, child murder is one thing. What? Where did the molester part come from? I mean,. This is just my impression on it, but he gives off some serious Michael Jackson vibes. Although, further note, I believe Michael Jackson was innocent. Well, like, look at him. He's like, I want, I need five children to to come to my to my factory. Because he was trying to find a successor. Sure. How about a back rub, Charlie? <laughs> also, to be clear, I'm talking about the Johnny Depp version. The uh, Gene Wilder version actually looks fine. He well, looks like one's... a respectful business owner. Well, that one's more of like a horror movie where he's just killing the kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt. <laughs> something, something, we are going. There's no way of knowing which direction we are going. Is it raining? Is it pouring? Also, pretty sure that movie was directed by Tim Burton, so the whole vibe vaguely tracks. The, oh, um, Johnny the Johnny Depp, Depp one. one. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, we have finished our Ponder, uh, Ponderland adventure. We did it! Was it silly enough for you? I had fun. Especially it was pretty end. silly. Uh, I would also like to say that uh, it could have been way sillier. Be and because this was one of those ones where I would have been like, yeah, that happens. So you guys could have just did cartoon did stuff. What, like a, like I pull a hammer out of my, my pocket or some shit? If you have a hammer on you, yeah. I mean, Syntexy literally ate chattering teeth. Doesn't get much more cartoon than that. Well, I, I mean in the in the ability to say something happens, like random eagles and Randolph is Randolph. there. Yeah, you could have did that kind of stuff too, not just me. Fucking Randolph. You should have told us that. I did at the very beginning before we started this, but maybe we just forgot about it because... Yeah, I forgot about it. I thought we were abiding by the laws of physics. Yeah, it was like... I always assumed it was cartoon logic. Another two weeks or something before we actually started it after I said that. Lots of time to forget. But anyway. I mean, it could have been funny. But it's fine. I thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I and I hope you... Did. Have a good night. And that concludes the adventures in Ponderland. Yeah, and maybe perhaps we'll be able to go back to our other side story in the main campaign next week, possibly. Yeah. No, I miss Cornelius. He was so fun to play. Yeah. <laughs> I, I miss Christmas too. Bless you. I didn't I didn't really want to stop in the middle of the the side story. I didn't expect it to take more than like two or three, maybe four sessions. And we only were able to do like one session of it. <laughs> so we should be able to get back to the main party after the side story pretty quick. 
But yeah, anyway. Until next time. On Dungeons and Wetons. I want to see what I drew during that.